Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to create a, another Laravel chart, but this time I will pull data from database. So somebody requested me to create video on that. How do you set data from SQL and by SQL? So there, somebody also asked me to create a scatter chart. So I will cover both of this in this video. So you can watch this video if you are new to Laravel charts, and then you can watch uh, the current video. After watching this video so I will not cover the basics I'll just directly jump into the chart class and pull data from database all right so here after creating new chart so after running the make chart command you'll have some chart so I've created in previous video I've just created some random chart with just random name and in this uh, we can set the data set so if we are to make suppose we want to create a scattered line chart there is different data set you have to supply like this but for scattered chart it is a slightly different you have to pass x and y coordinate like this so you have to modify them accordingly so in previous video i've also created one sales chart so here i have just passed array so pulling from database is not different you just uh, call the query here uh, like data and some query and just uh, pass that to this variable this value so here for constructing scatter chart uh, if we supply like this it will show the scatter chart so so after defining this uh, we have registered it in app service provider so after this class is made we have registered this here and we have some we have one route to show a page whenever we visit home page we are displaying this view and in this view we have container scatter chart and we are initializing new chart instance instance in this div and we're passing that route and here we just need to do like this data set so we have one data set just type scatter that's it and then let's visit that route and we can see chart like this scatter chart so currently this data is static data let's pull in data from database it's uh, quite easy so since we are doing in this chart So I have defined one variable and we call user and then get scatter sorry get scattered data. So now let's define this method in our user model. So you can put it uh, put this code anywhere. So just to organize, I put it in user model. Okay, so let's open user and here I've defined a get scattered data and here i'm just getting all the user detail by the way just to show you database uh, i have so by default this user model comes by default and normal user model and we have this user details so this has relationship has one relationship with user details so user got user details so i'm just storing height and weight for a user and uh, now we'll pull in all this data from database we'll plug all this data and then show it like so all right so first of all we just select height and weight and get all the data all the user details all right so i'm converting it into array and since we require x and y in this format we use array map function and then we do like this in x value i'm displaying height and y i'm displaying weight and then after mapping this we got structured data let me show you by dying dumping structured data so let's display both data first without structured and after structure so I'm done dumping both. Let's go and refresh, open up console 
and in network tab we should see the preview of those data here so without the structure we got something like this height and weight height and weight like this and after structuring we get something like this x and y all right so and after that we return the structure data and we got that data over here and just replace this static data with our variable data and now let's visit to the endpoint and see if we get the real data there we go so we got the real time data sorry data from our database there we go all right so this is it and this is all about pulling data from database hope you learned something out of this video please like the video i'll see you on another video bye